It is a beautiful morning here just outside of Cody, Wyoming. And I am on my way to quite a special, if not uh, interesting place as well. And that is a dam that was the prototype for Hoover Dam down in Nevada. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's called the the Buffalo Bill Dam or the the Cody Dam or something like that. <laughs> something like that. We'll we'll find out as soon as I I find my way up to the dam. But I wanted to stop at this point and show you the show you the canyon that this river goes through. Now I I believe this may be the Shoshone River. I might be mistaken about that, but if I'm not, this river goes down through Cody. I've come to another spot just up the road with some more information and it, it is the Shoshone River and this was a uh, part of the Shoshone project and it goes on to say that water is a precious resource in the western U.S. It often comes too little or too late for successful farming. Reliable water supplies were needed for the success, successful settlement of the West. As a result, the Bureau of Reclamation began in 1902 as the federal response to the need for stable economies in the West. So they've got some uh, information about this and they, uh, it, it, it's called the Buffalo Bill Dam. But look at this. You can look it up online if you're so inclined to do so. And just up ahead in those in that mountain, there's two entrances to, to tunnels, or I guess if you're coming the other way, those entrances would be exits. But uh, there's another view of the canyon. Now we'll go and uh, we'll go check out the dam. As you can see, I made it to the Dam and Visitor Center. And it's open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday and 9 to 5 Saturday and Sunday. And they have a courtesy shuttle that'll come and pick you up, although it's not too far to walk over to the actual dam itself. But they have some interesting information here at the, at the entrance to the Dam and Visitor Center. Information about Wyoming's longest tunnel, scenic byways, lifeblood of the West, Buffalo Bill Dam. Construction on the dam, Shoshone Dam, later to be called Buffalo Bill Dam, began in 1905 and completed five years later. Engineers faced insurmountable physical challenges, among them the deep granite canyon, which made work difficult in a remote location, which made it hard to secure and keep construction workers. Weather proved difficult when over half the annual runoff occurred during a 30-day period in 1909, raising the river to a depth of 17 feet over the top so there's some views of the of the construction of the dam it really is an engineering marvel to be to be quite honest with you really something else and right here this is the uh, this is the upstream cableway winch Look at that. That's something. And then just to the left of this parking area is the reservoir. Look at how beautiful that is. And we have a campsite just up that just up that highway. In a beautiful campground the buffalo bill campground and we've got space number two for a beautiful evening tomorrow night right on the water water here is actually a little bit too cold to uh to swim but there are some people that there are some people that do and look at this monster this is the balance plunger hydraulic valve. Isn't that something? 40 inch, 48 diameter valve is one of two which were originally installed at the base of the Buffalo Bill Dam in 1922 to supply water to the Shoshone power plant and low level river outlet works. Look at that. Isn't that something? And then right here, 
this is the plug kind of looks like a wrecking ball I was here the other day with Sylvana and I wanted to get her on top of the the ball they're holding on to the the chain but she would have she would have none of that this is the ball plug this large wood and concrete ball plug was one of two used to halt the flow of water through the 42 inch diameter power outlet works conduits located at the base of the dam the balls facilitated the repair and maintenance of the downstream machinery and equipment in order to access the submerged conduit opening of the upstream face of the dam trash rack structures first had to be removed by divers and raised to the surface by a cableway winch which was what we were just looking at earlier but look at that all right let's go take a look at the uh, visitor center in the in the uh, in the dam itself I have found my way up to the Buffalo Bill Dam and Visitor Center and as you can see the price is right free admission and this is on the National Register of Historic Places since 1973 and it's a civil engineering landmark since 19 73 and it is a beautiful morning to be visiting this incredible spot and boy talk about a log jam look at this look at all those logs that just come up to the dam isn't that something there you can walk out on the dam which we'll do after a short stop at the at the visitor center. It should be curious to know how they clear all those logs that flow downstream. You can buy yourself a, a paver or a, a stone here on the walkway. For a two hundred fifty dollar donation. Look at this. Here's the. Oh, they got a gift shop. All types of wonderful things that you can you can buy. There's some nice historic pictures up on the wall a lot of information about dinosaurs here in this area collection of pictures here there's some of the measuring the project different instruments that they used it has been said of me that I brought the nation into the 20th century it was the there's the man himself a water built the west to be economical, farming in this arid region required irrigation. In 1900, William Buffalo Bill Cody, Senator Frank Mondell, and Nate Salisbury built an irrigation canal in the South Fork of the river. Water supplies were still inadequate. Federal support would be needed to undertake large-scale projects. With support from Roosevelt, the Reclamation Act was passed in 1902. Look at that picture. Wow. There's a flag that was flown over the dam in 1909. On display. Some more pictures. No rebar was used in this dam when it was 
built. Interestingly enough. Over here they've got some animals up on display, a wolf and a wolf and a grizzly bear. More information about the Shoshone River. I guess they have a North Fork and a South Fork when it comes to the comes to the river. There's Buffalo Bill right there. Very nice. Over here they've got a movie that you can watch telling you a little bit about the story of the of the dam. Oh, there you go, maintaining it. Most of the work maintaining the safety and rel reliability of the dam is not done when visitors are present. One of the activities is the removal of driftwood into the reservoir to bring the floating mass. Mostly wood collects behind the dam, which removed as shown in these photos. Look at that. All right, let's go take a look at the go we'll take a look at the dam itself. I was here the other day, and I got to tell you, I had to step back for a moment because the the height of this dam is just unbelievable. Not quite sure how high it is. I'm sure somewhere inside on one of those information panels it was saying a little bit about that. Look at this. I'll give you the view. View looking out at the canyon. And then the view looking down. I'll reach out over the side here. Look at that view. Wow, absolutely incredible. That really is something to see. I just can't even imagine what it was like working on this back in the day. Here's your view down the canyon. Look at that. And the road coming up along the side of the canyon over here was the original road to Yellowstone. Just gorgeous. Actually, you get a little bit dizzy looking down at that. That is high. Oh, now you know where the expression, I'll be damned, comes from. Isn't that something? And then over here is the is the reservoir. All right, folks. So there's your there's your tour of the Buffalo Bill Buffalo Bill Dam here in beautiful Cody, Wyoming. And it is just gorgeous. What a beautiful day today. Those of you watching this back down in, in Florida, where many of you are that I know that watch my videos, oh, the temperatures here, mornings are into the mid, mid 50s, if not the lower or upper 40s, and the days rise up into the 80s and the 90s, and it is just, uh, oh, it's just beautiful, no humidity, just fantastic. So, all right. Have a uh, have a wonderful day. Yeah. 
you know, walking out back to the parking area, I thought to share this view with you. These granite, granite walls. Look at that against the beautiful blue sky. Is that not magnificent or what? All right, have a uh, have a great day.